I'm Nigel Rabbits. I'm chairman of Devon and Cornwall Police Federation. We're an organisation which represents police officers from the rank of chief inspector to constable. We have about 3,000 members in Devon and Cornwall. The force was 3,500. It's now about 3,100 serving officers throughout Devon and Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly. We mainly deal with officers who are subject to complaints. We represent them in the discipline conduct uh, forum. We also negotiate some local terms and conditions and we're all about keeping the public safe. And you do have a number of issues that you've, we've, we've chatted through. Can you sort of briefly give me an overview of some of those issues that we've talked about? Yes, we are all about our members' welfare and we're also about the efficiency of the force. So on members' welfare, we have real concerns that we've reduced the number of police officers out in the community. We're worried that community policing is under threat we're worried about our members, the hours they work, the fact that we are a tourist area, we have a massive influx of members of the public with no extra resources. Our members struggle to get annual leave, time off in the summer, um, and they're left to take the, the barren months off in the winter, which is in school time. And why aren't you allowed to go on strike? Uh, the police officers are warranted officers. They're subject to a statute of law that they're not allowed to be members of a trade union. They're not covered by the main employment rights and they have, um, they're not allowed to, by association, go on strike or even talk about going on strike. Can we talk about the, your view of the PC, PCC and the PCSOs? Yes. Um, yeah? Um, Devon Cornwall Police Federation have a view on uh, police community support officers. Although the individuals do a valuable job out in the community, their funding is an issue and we feel that that money should be used to employ fully warranted officers. Fully warranted officers are much more flexible, they work 24-7 and they're there to respond to public needs. PCSOs are contracted police support staff who are subject to uh, the rigours of payments for unsocial hours etc which makes them actually quite an expensive uh, visible uniform in the community. Um, the police crime commissioner uh, we haven't supported the introduction of the Police Crime Commissioner. We feel that that's government trying to deflect local people making complaints directly to government and their local uh, elected members of parliament, putting in another elected person who is governed by national policy trying to deliver local services. But um, it, it works, or we're told it works in America, ha having elected police representatives. Why not here? I think the British style of policing is envied throughout the world and that's all about having the consent of the public. With an elected representative running the police service, you start to bring in politics and there's no place for politics in the police. Unfortunately that leaves two, um, and I use the word that it's divisive use, but corruption is talking about actually directing your services and resources to get re-elected. Uh, and there's no place for that in British policing. And how, how has the, uh, the role of the police, because uh, you've been in the police since 1988, how has that changed in your view, some sort of general trends? Devon and Cornwall Police have a very rich history of being at the forefront of community policing. We are a large, geographically rural force with coastal areas, uh, a moorland area and some large urban areas such as Plymouth, Torbay and Exeter. Since 1988, we've seen a, a bit of an erosion of community policing. When the economic squeeze comes on, the first thing to go is the, the community police officer. We have to respond to the public. There has to be an emergency response. But that, in fact, is not what Devon and Cornwall is all about. It's a lovely area to work. It is a safe area. But in order to keep the public safe, we must have a visible presence on the streets of fully warranted police officers.